All right, so what is up guys? I hope every single one of you had a good Christmas. I've probably filmed this video over and over probably like four or five times now. I've had a couple of people stop and talk to me, which I don't mind, which is really cool. Um, people talk to me about either the car or like just photography or videos, making them and stuff like that. So no problem with that. But so I hope every single one of you had a good Christmas. Um, it's almost 2020. This is gonna be the last video I'm gonna make of the year. And I just kind of want to say thanks to those have, that have been here from the beginning. And for those that are new, welcome to the channel. Um, a question that I do get often uh, is why is the channel not bigger like other YouTubers? And why I don't spend more time grinding out, you know, better content or taking um, more time on my videos and stuff like that. To answer that is because uh, this channel, I'm not worried about numbers popular numbers i'm not worried about that um it's just a hobby i've explained it in plenty of videos but uh just to give you pretty much like a barney style answer is um if i had more time uh, i'm pretty passionate about what i do with the car video wise this is just to give you guys an update that want to follow along on this channel um it's nothing against like i don't want this you know channel to be slapping big popular whatever big hype whatever um, I'm just not worried about that. I think it's just a cool thing to do on the side hobby, you know, pull out my phone or my DSLR camera, start filming for you guys, make a video, edit the bad parts out and, you know, just post it and whatever. I'm not worried about the, the numbers or the revenue or anything like that. So anyways, so we're going to get into this video and for this video, I want you guys to comment down in the comment section below is I'm going to let you guys pick the mods that I do to this car. So going into 2020 this car needs some tlc the transmission on this car is a tr3650 and it's starting to get its wear and tear and go uh, from being a daily driver to being a track car to driving across the country it's it's seen a lot it's almost this car is almost at 400 uh 400 000 miles so we're at 352 so we're right there and it's not that I want to keep putting miles on this car. I don't care. Um, it's just, it's time to upgrade a few things. So what I'm going to do is, in my mind, I already have what I want to do to this car besides wash it. Um, previous video, I told you about the hood and why I have this hood. So don't worry about that. Uh, long story short, my window needs to be replaced because about a month and a half ago, we had a storm and I put a little hole right here. I guess a, something from a tree where I live came down on it and then the cold weather just kind of got to it and got to it and yeah that's what you get with that so we're gonna start out at the hood so I'm gonna tell you the parts that I want and if you guys have any ideas uh, just feel free to comment in this comment section below like I said I do have an idea of the hood I want or the parts that I do want but I'm gonna take your guys opinions and ideas into consideration so let's get started the hood i'm thinking about you know i'm not going to keep this hood it's either a terminator hood uh, i don't want to do a cow hood because everyone has a cow hood every that's like a go-to 99 to 04 you know starter pack mustang hood um terminator hood of course it is too but i've had two terminator hoods i had a stock factory one and i had a vis racing one carbon fiber and i do like that but i like the factory look better so I was thinking the CJ Pony Parts has the True Fiber A70 hood, which it has like vents right here. Um, if you know what the hood looks like, I think it looks like a really badass hood. So that's the hood I'm thinking of going with. Um, the wheels, I've had Robo Silver. I've had I have the Robo's Black Chrome currently, and I'm thinking about honestly going back to the silver because it's just kind of like an iconic look for this car in a way uh the silver on the silver not that the colors kind of match up well but they do uh not too horribly they're not too uh off i guess so i'm thinking about going to back to those and being like a new edge owner we don't have a lot of wheel options except for like you know celine bullets and i've had those and i'm not going to go out and probably switch to another wheel uh lmr has some wheel options but i don't know if I want to go like to that direction, um, I think I might just stick with the silver Robos and just go back to those. So we're going to the roof. Uh, I think I'm just going to keep it silver and no wrap. 
this was just a test to see you know how i felt about it uh, it's like a dark and carbon fiber uh it's a really good you know it's not bad it's a really good product but uh if i did go with a new one i've had the gloss black already and then we switched it to this maybe a lighter carbon fiber look but in the end i think i'm just gonna stay with the silver factory roof uh i i think it's just it looks good the way it is but less is more for me and let's see let's see the next so i might get rid of the brahm seats and i want to find a set of mach one seats and cobra side skirts but both those are very hard to find and there goes a v6 didn't sound too well um yeah so a mach one setup for these like original seats and i think cobra side skirts would definitely just set this car apart from you know i've had the racing seats i've had two sets of racing seats i've had the factory 9904 gt seats or v6 seats whatever the leather ones uh i, I kind of just i really love the way the mach one seats look and sit they're just hard to find in my area and the same with the cobra side skirts i've always wanted cobra side skirts for this car to make it a fobra complete fobra but they're just so hard to find so i think i'm going to go with that and now the transmission of course i'm going to go with the t56 and i'm thinking of going with a spec 3 uh clutch setup that holds 850 plus torque right now i'm rocking a mcleod clutch i've had two of them uh I had a bad experience with the first one, and then I bought the same clutch, and honestly, I'm just not a fan of the McLeod clutches. I think they hold up decently well. Uh, I'm not making anywhere near that power to where the first one should have went as it should. It blew up pretty much, um, and this one's not really having a problem. I just, the feel, kind of like the pedal feel and stuff like that, I'm not really a fan. I've had different clutch cable setups. Uh, blah 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 I, i've done it all with this car uh from steeda to mcleod whatever i mean not mcleod maximum motorsports i'm thinking about just going with a spec i know someone with a spec clutch and i've read a lot of good reviews uh, i'm not knocking the company at mcleod it's just personal preference i think i'm going to steer towards the spec and then we're gonna do, redo the rear end with this car and uh, i saw lmr has that new cover plate for the rear end the sve so i definitely looks cool so i'm gonna go out and get that too and put it on this but so redoing the rear end and transmission and clutch setup is the main focus for this car and then of course the hood because we're not gonna rock this hood for forever i've had a gt hood and it's all right but it's not functional it's not real so we're of course gonna get, get a different hood so but the True fiber A70 hood is what I'm looking at. And I really dig the way it looks and I think it would look badass in the car. There is one Celine Mustang on Instagram I follow that has it and it totally looks badass. So so that's the mods that I'm thinking with for this car. Seats, wheels, may keep the wheels, I don't know. Seats, I may keep them. Um, if I can find a Mach 1 setup, I'll definitely get rid of them. Uh, wheels, thinking about going back to silver and then keeping the roof just a plain silver, no wrap and cobra side skirts and like i said the mach 1 seats definitely need to look for those got plenty of time before mustang week for 2020 and it's i want to get the main stuff done for this car first but you guys know my car um you've seen plenty of pictures videos of what it looks like if you have any other ideas of things that i should maybe change or something uh definitely post in the comment section below and that's gonna do it for this video guys thanks for watching uh, thanks for staying with the channel through 2019 and let's make big things happen in 2020. I will catch you later. Have a good one.